Welcome to the channel. My name is Marco, and today I'll be showing you 10 awesome comics we have for sale here at Pops Comics. Now, this is the shop that I work at, and if you've watched the channel at all and wonder where do I get my awesome books, it is 99% of the time from here, this wonderful shop that I work at, and I live at almost, um, and get lots of cool uh, comics, action figures, Funko Pops, through here all the time if you want to see and stay up to date with what we are getting in check out our facebook page there is a link in the description and that is the best way to see what we got coming in give us a call you can pay for stuff over the phone even if you're not in this area you can always uh we can always ship it to you we ship all over the country all over the world even so you know just give us a call but let us know that switch comics sent you to let you know to let my bosses you know be a little impressed with me and whatnot but let's go ahead and well actually you know first as always i am still doing my giveaway for some awesome comics including a sweet john romita signature on that ultimate spider-man 100 and i'm sure if you've been you know been watching the channel we're getting closer to that 500 mark and once we get to 500 subscribers we'll be giving that away all you got to do is leave a comment let me know what you're interested in a lot of these books that i picked out actually maybe all these books that I picked out are books that I personally want myself. But, you know, I'm not made out of money. I, you know, I can only get what I can get. And, you know, sometimes you got to pick and choose. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. Starting off with uh, episode one, the Phantom, the Phantom Menace. This is number three out of four. We have 125 on this bad boy. Look at that. Beautiful. This is first cover appearance of Darth Maul. Also first appearance of Mace Windu in regular standard comics and god that is a gorgeous cover i absolutely would love to put this into my collection and maybe i will if i'm going to give you all a chance if y'all don't buy this soon it might be entering my collection but there are some other good contenders in here we have west coast avengers 45 we got a hundred dollars on that bad boy and this is the first appearance of white vision now obviously we know why this book has recently exploded. If you've watched WandaVision, he does appear in there, and he's not done yet. We don't know when he's going to show up again, but he just kind of disappeared at the end of that last episode, so he'll be popping up again soon. And this, you know, these books are in beautiful condition as well. I don't think I picked out anything that's rough. I think everything I picked out are just gorgeous looking books. And then I'm always telling people, always telling people, get your X-Men keys. We have X-Men 244 here. First appearance of Jubilee. What is the price on it? $65. And Jubilee is a character I really think has a good shot of being uh, one of the more main X-Men. Because we were so close. Like, we, we got, like, teases of Jubilee in the Fox stuff. But we never got like a really good jubilee she looked good in that last movie whatever she was in i don't remember now um age of apocalypse she might have been in dark phoenix i don't know i didn't watch that movie but she looked good but we didn't she didn't interact or do anything so and jubilee's always been a fan favorite x-men so it only makes sense if you know they actually used her in the mcu and then man i love this cover we got 80 dollars on this book this is transformers number one so, I mean, obviously, the beginning of, of all your Transformers, but also first appearance of Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Starscream. The three big ones. And look at that. Oh, just such a beautiful cover. I almost said nostalgic, and I guess it is nostalgic for some. This book came out before I was born, so it's not nostalgic for me, but it is a, just a, such a cool retro cover, and I love it. I'm not a huge Transformers guy, but man, do I love me some Optimus, Megatron, and Starscream. Starscream specifically. That is my dude. And then this book has recently exploded. You might have been able to find this in your dollar bins, but no more. It's an $80 book we got here. Star, uh, Star Boy is almost what I said. Super Boy. Uh, number nine. This is first King Shark. Now, King Shark has exploded for two reasons. One, he, you know, has been appearing in the Harley Quinn show, and he's been great. If you haven't watched that, absolutely love that show. It is ridiculous and raunchy and bloody and all the good stuff and it, it's a funny it's a hilarious show but uh on top of that you know he's gonna appear in suicide squad 2 voiced by uh stallone and look pretty good in the trailer looks like he's gonna be funny look a little bit dumber in this version but funny and savage <laughs> bit a man in half 
So, I mean, if that's what they're showing us in the trailer, I expect to see some good gore and disassembling of his foes. And man, do I want that book. I, mean, I want the Build-A-Figure, too. I'd love, you know, I like to put my comics next to my Build-A-Figures. Or not Build-A-Figure, but just any action figures. And, oh, it looks so good next to each other, but the Build-A-Figure is like $250. And I'm like, maybe some other time. This book is sweet. This is a very, very hot book. We have, what is this, number five, right? Yeah, Black Panther, number five. Now this, we have $125 on it. This is the first appearance of Shuri in the Black Panther costume, which is a super sweet book. I don't know if it's 100% confirmed yet, but there is a very, very, very good chance that in the next Black Panther movie, it's going to be Shuri taking the mantle of Black Panther. Even if not, even if something else happens midway, Shuri's going to be taking that mantle at some point. We know it. She's pretty well liked. I, I really, it's a tough subject for me because I, I really don't know what the best option for Marvel to do to replace T'Challa. Uh, or whether that means replacing the actor or, you know, giving the mantle to someone else. It's hard to say, but really, really solid book. This book has a lot of hype behind it and pretty solid cover, I must say. You can't go wrong with a Black Panther and Storm cover. Now we're getting into the last four books, and the last four have a little, little double twist to them. So the first one I'm going to do last time, last week we showed off Batman Beyond Universe, number one, the one in 20, 25 variant. Now we're showing off Batman Beyond number one. Now, calm, calm down. This is your free promotional giveaway version. So it's not the, the big book, but still, we got $150 on this bad boy right here. Pretty solid book. And again, this is going to be a little bit more affordable than your regular Batman number one. But the cover's the same. You know, you don't have your barcode or symbol, or I can't remember exactly what's the regular cover. But if you want that classic, iconic Batman the number one cover and want to save a little bit of money, this is going to be your next best bet. Pretty solid. I'm not a big DC dude, but I did really enjoy the Batman Beyond series when I was, you know, younger and watched it. I had a lot of fun with that. Now, if you're more of a slab kind of guy, we do have a 9-4 of the same comic here. Check that bad boy out. Super clean. You know exactly what the grade is. It's the same promotional uh, giveaway variant. $200 on that. It's not too bad. Only $50 more. Get it graded. Or have it already graded. At a 9-4. That's a pretty strong grade. Super solid book. I definitely would like to get a hold of that one. And that one is it's definitely going to heat up. That's one of those, like to me, no-brainer comics it will heat up we will be getting i don't know when i don't know exactly how soon but we will be getting some batman beyond stuff just give it some time and now for another another hot 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 book we have N new mutants 98 this is the mark jewelers insert variant super super hard to find y'all better buy this because if not give me another week or two and this will be in my collection i can't tell you how badly i would like to get a mark jewelers insert variant man those th these things are so hard to find anyway i got a 450 on this bad boy Whew. now it does have a small uh i don't know how well you'll be able to pick that up on camera i'm doing my best i got it close up there hopefully you can see it it does have a bend but uh, increase in the corner. I think that's the only one. Yeah, this the other corner, It's it's got a little bit of rub. It's not too bad. But this one, you know, there is the crease on this corner. Hopefully you saw it. I don't know. I held the, hold the, hold the cam... Oh, God. Hold the comic as close to the camera as I could. But uh, hopefully you saw it. I don't know. You can't be too picky with the Mark Jewelers. You don't see these. You really just don't see these books. And... You know, I know Mark Jewelry has, you know, different comics that it'll be in, but it's in a New Mutants 98. My goodness, what a good book. And obviously, first Deadpool. I think that's needless to say. Everyone should know this book is crazy right now. $450, that is not a bad price. Man, I want that book. Now, if you're more of a slab type of man, we do have, now granted this one is not a Mark Jewelers. But it is a solid, 
9.4 there. Is that even focusing at all? <laughs> 9.4 newsstand. Check that bad boy out. Look at that. We got, what is it, five? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why does he think five? Five was, yeah, I don't know, I'm crazy. <laughs> this is $800. I'm losing my mind right here. But a 9.4 newsstand. And I can't lie, this is a little tempting to me too because I have a 9.0 just direct edition. So this is a big improvement over my pitiful 9.0 <laughs> newsstand. Uh, man, or not newsstand, direct edition. I'd love to get me a newsstand. I'd love to get me a higher grade. And this is this is it right here. So I'm just kind of warning you all this time. Like, y'all better pick these books up or I'm, I might have to. Y'all are making me spend money. We also got in, didn't make it into the video because the book literally lasted like five minutes. We got in a X-Men 129, um, 9.6. We had that one sent off to get graded, came back a 9.6. Beautiful, beautiful copy of that book. That is first um, Emma Frost, first um, Kitty Pride, and first um, Hell, what are they called? Hellfire? Is that what they're called? I feel like that's not their name. I think it is their name. But, but you know, with, um, God, I think, is it called Hellfire? Man, I'm losing my mind today. I need to go eat some food. I'm, that's what I'm going to do right after I make this video. I've been running around all day, and I'm trying to get this video done. But regardless, anyway, we sold that book for 2400 No time. As soon as we posted it, we got a call for it, and he was here immediately because he wanted that book. That is a hot, hot book. And, like, you can't go wrong picking that one up. When we get Kitty Pride, when we get Emma Frost, man, that book is going to skyrocket. Even if we get one or the other, but definitely if we get both in the MCU, whew, that is a solid, solid book to have. Very jealous of that man. But that is our 10, or the 10, I don't know, might not necessarily do 10 books every week, but that is the 10 books I picked out for this week. Super, super hot. Man, these are just incredible, incredible books to have. The New Mutants 98. What was the other ones that I really... Superboy 9. The West Coast Avengers. The Darth Maul cover. Ugh. Beautiful, beautiful books. Look at these things. Tell me you don't want them. Beautiful, beautiful covers. Awesome keys. I feel like this was a really, really good video. Let me know if you're enjoying... If you want this to just stay comics. We have awesome Funko Pops. We have awesome action figures. I could do a mix. I could do, you know, every week I could maybe do a little something different. Maybe do Funkos next week or something. And I got some big Funko Pops too. So, like, just let me know what you all want to look at. And I'll try my best to get it out there so you all can see. Again, if there's anything you want to uh, check out, uh, hit us up on our Facebook page. The number, I can't remember off the top of my head. But it, here, it's on the screen. There it is. Call this number. Give us a call. We will get that to you, whether you are here in Louisville, Kentucky, or anywhere else in the world. We'll get it shipped out to you. And like I said, let them know Switch Comics sent you. My boss might give me a raise. <laughs> no, they treat me very well here. I'm very happy to work here. Best place I've worked in my whole life. Surrounded by great people, great comics, toys, and Funkos. That's going to be it for today. I will see you all Sunday. I have an awesome comic haul video. Can't wait to show you all. It's going to be bonkers. Goodbye.